At the base of the San Juan Mountains, music mastery is quietly being molded in the mini mecca of the recording industry, Ridgeway, Colorado, the quaint Colorado town outside of Telluride full of cool cats. I, I came to Ridgeway in 1990 and just immediately fell in love John with it. Billings works behind the door of what could be any building. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Oh, okay. Music has been a big part of my life. That like might be the understatement of the millennium. John Billings, he's an artist. I am a mold maker <laughs> by trade, uh, a master mold maker. I'm one of, I think, three left in the country. And those skills, very much in demand. Uh, I just made a mold for Elon Musk, it's a model of the Dragon V2 space cap. But it's his design of this that John Billings is most famous for. I am the maker of the Grammy Awards. Yep, I have. those coveted and gramophones. They're, we call them stunt Grammys. These are the ones that are handed out on stage. So these are ready to go to New York. Stunt Grammys? You bet. The ones you see on stage, they don't have a name on them. After the show, I will get the list of winners and start the engraving process. And as you might imagine, those stunt Grammys, they get a little grimy. So when we get them back, we have to clean them up, wipe off the tears and the fingerprints, and then get them ready for next year's show. John's shop is a regular Smithsonian institution of Grammys. They're scattered around like collector plates at Grandma's house, heroes, and at least one zero We're duo. 350 Grammys this year. Uh, there's 120 of them that are boxed and serial numbered. Once we've got the 350, we'll drive them out to California. Why drive? It is tradition, yeah. Um, I'm sure a lot of people remember when the Oscars turned up missing and they were stolen off a loading dock. And the Grammy making process? Yeah. John gave me the tour. This is the base of the Grammy okay. and in here they're, then they're painted. And this is where the magic happens. This is the pot that we melted in. It'll melt at 650 degrees. That would be Grammy gravy. And this Grammy splat is now wall art. The shop may be a bit snug, but... It's functional. <laughs> it's very functional. It's, a, it's chaotic. Well, they say art is a triumph over chaos. And for more than 40 years... It's, it's always evolving. We're always trying to make the perfect Grammy. John will always be chasing blemished perfection. Oh, I have no plans of uh, stepping back and letting it slip away. Because it's the perfect promise he made to his mentor, the late Bob Graves, that keeps him in here every day. But the last time I was there before he passed away, he said, I want you to promise me that you'll never let anybody get those Grammys. Colorado, Rocky the Grammy, more than just an award, now a Colorado legacy. Came to Ridgeway in 1990. Um, I realized I had found a place I wanted to live the rest of my life. So. John Billings and his Grammy have found their home on the quiet stage in Ridgeway, Colorado. That's the All Good News. I'm Dave Allgood.